there guys and welcome to the next video here on the channel so today is going to just be a craft update so let's go ahead and let's get started here so some of these were featured in their separate videos most of these were so go check those out if you want to see them more in detail so the first wallet is this real tree camo wallet with an orange billfold and it just has my basic layout four card pocket the side ID and then the hidden card pocket then I have this real tree camo with black same layout and these were all featured in my whole row challenge so go check that out this one with pastel blue five pockets ID two hiddens then I have this smollet with dark green two car pockets the V pocket the pocket up top and then the ID and then I have this accordion wallet with lime green two accordion sections and then the Ziploc coin pouch, no adhesive at the bottom. And once again, if you want to see these more in detail, go check out my whole challenge video. Then I have this pink camo bow. They all bobby pins on the back, which I can remove if you don't want. So I have two of those, and I have one all real tree camo one. Then I have two real tree camo bracelets, and one real tree camo keychain. So that was it for my whole roll challenge. Next are some wallets that you haven't seen before. So this one you might have seen in my introduction to Katie Duck, but I added something to it. So this one is with pastel blue. It has the hidden card pocket, two large accordion sections, and then the Ziploc coin pouch with no adhesive at the bottom. Really good Ziploc. And then I added the inside out wallet, two card pocket, short pocket, pocket up top and the ID. So these are what I like to call my deluxe accordion wallet. So yep, that is what they look like. And I've had a couple more of these but never really had a chance to show them because I sold them. So there's that one. Um, that's the only one I've made to th uh, this week today. Um, then I have this monster high bifold. And it doesn't line up. I tried to line it up, but it didn't. So I just decided to leave it like that. I think it still looks really cool. Pink and electric blue billfold. No adhesive, as always. Three card pockets on this side. Pocket up top. Side ID. And then the hidden card pocket there. Looks really, really nice. And it's super thin, as always. So I really like that one. And I will be doing these craft updates. Whenever I get enough crafts, it's not going to be like weekly or like whatever daily um, it's just gonna be whenever I get enough crafts that should be probably one to two weeks somewhere around there next I have this really cool bifold and I will explain why it looks so crappy here in a second so this one's all it's all gray it's just a prototype four card pockets and two hiddens and yes I know it's really wrinkly and don't judge me on that because it's supposed to be that way well I was hoping it wasn't going to be but it ended up being that way because if you've ever heard of electronic pit pocketing it's um, the latest smartphones these days they have like you can get it so that you can just scan it over your credit card and then they can get all your information and buy a bunch of stuff off of it so I decided that I just make a wallet out of and to prevent it, they said that you just cover the card in aluminum foil. So I was like, well, I might as well just make a wallet out of aluminum foil. So I don't know if it's, as you can see on the backs of the card pockets, there's aluminum foil. And it's pretty hard to tell. But the backs of the hiddens are also made with it. So everything is this piece here, this piece here, the two hiddens, and the four card pockets are all based with aluminum foil. So you won't have to worry about your cards getting scanned. And if you want to research more about that, just type in electronic pit pocketing and a bunch of results should show up. So this is the anti-electronic pit pocketing wallet. So that's pretty neat. I've never seen anybody else on YouTube do this, and if you have, please leave a comment down below. Or if you've seen someone do this, please do. But if I haven't, I searched a little bit around, haven't seen anybody else do this, so um, I'm gonna call it my idea. But again, if you have seen anybody else do it, please leave a comment down below, and I will check out your channel and definitely give you credit. So next are some wallets you've already seen. There's still wallets that you haven't seen, but 
those are will be at the end. So all these you have seen. So the first one is electric blue with white with my basic layout. White bow folds. And this one seems to be really popular. It is a Taylor Lautner wallet. And it looks really cool. Again, I have a separate video on all of these to come. So um, go check those out if you want to see this more detailed. All 100% duct tape, even a signature over here. This is made with the glow in the dark tape. I think it looks really cool. Then I have the Justin Bieber one. This is made with the duck brand glow in the dark tape. Black billfold, white card pockets. And then I have two One Direction ones. So this one is, they both have my basic layout with a black billfold. This one is Louie from One Direction and they have a One Direction logo, all covered in clear tape. And this one is Nile. So they both look really, really cool. And again, these have separate videos, so if you want to see them more in detail, please go check those out. So next are guns and wallets you haven't seen. So I'll start with my new personal wallet. I've had my personal wallet for about two, maybe one and a half to two years. So I decided it was time to make myself a new one. And um, so here it is. And my old one was just a uh, Baroque small with teal trim so I decided to make myself a cell phone wallet which is really cool this one's blue plaid with uh, electric blue and then here we have the little wristlet thing which is reversible so you can wear it like that as well which is really cool and it is attached on the inside so make sure that it won't come out sorry about that guys I just had to run and go grab my iPod to show you that it fits so anyway, I did make this cell phone wallet. So it has this really cool key ring on it. And again, it is reversible. So here we have our Velcro adjustable strap. So you have a lot of room in there if you wanted to, or you can just leave it like that. So it's all blue plaid and the inside is with um, white pockets and pastel blue trimming. And I absolutely love this color combination since it is my wallet. So there's just two card pockets and let me just really quickly show you that it doesn't show over and then you have the ID and then here you have two they were supposed to be business card holders but of course business cards didn't fit they showed over so they're gonna be meant for those little um, little cards I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about but the little mini ones that sometimes people put on their key rings they fit absolutely perfectly in there so yeah and there's have this cool stripe design on it and then here you have a small expandable, no adhesive at the bottom, and it's just white expandables and pastel blue, and it fits my iPod perfectly. So yeah, even with its case on it, it fits really well. So yeah, it's just a simple case and a iPod 5, so fits really well in there. And then here we have two accordion sections and a Ziploc coin pouch, which is all blue plaid on the inside. And I just, there's no adhesive at the bottom either. And I just put my bills, receipts, um, business cards since I couldn't put them in here. But yeah, so this is just a prototype. Again, this is my personal one, but if you would like one just like it, then you can just do a custom order online and I will be selling them. So I'm really sorry about the long video. Oh my gosh. It's already too long. Okay, and so the last item is a really awesome item and I hope that the video won't be too long. So it is actually a makeup holster or holder. Sorry about the mess. So this one I just did all uh, zigzag from Scotch. And so here's what it looks like. It's like a cosmetics holder. So um, over here you have two bobby pin holders. And then you have like this nail clipper holder. And then you can put uh, hair ties on it and just adjustable there. Then you have just a pouch there that goes all the way down for extra. And then you have a flip over section with um, a place to put your mascara some of these little brushes and then like a lipstick 
And then here I just have a clear fronted pocket. And it's not plastic, it's just like clear. It was for, to put like um, blush or whatever. I just, I had this uh, handy so I just used that. And um, it fits a lot of stuff and I think it's a really great idea. So again, you could just put all your cosmetics in here. And it's like a cosmetics organizer. And this one will be for sale, but I'm sure you don't have the same cosmetics as I do. You might have something totally different. You might not have mascara and you might have a bunch of blush or a bunch of cover up. Something like that. Um, so this is more towards the girls end of, I wanted to make something for the girls. So here we go. I think it's really cool and I can add a strap if you wanted to. So again, what I was saying was that I'm sure not a lot of people have the same cosmetics as I do. Um, so you can custom order on my website now and you can tell me exactly what cosmetics that you have. Like you can say, I have two Bare Minerals uh, volumizing mascaras and five brushes and three lipsticks and whatever and then I can customize it to your personal preference. So that's going to conclude our craft update. Thank you guys so much for watching and please 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 if you liked any of these wallets give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome videos to come and yeah so that's pretty much it. Again I will be having craft updates um, probably every one to two weeks depending on how many crafts I make that week. So I ho really hope you guys did enjoy these. Again all these will have separate videos or these four have separate videos and the whole world challenge does too but all the rest are brand new so I hope you guys liked it. Again please check out my website if you'd like to order any of these or just PM me on YouTube. So yeah thanks for watching guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Bye!